Hello and welcome to Reddit Tell All. Today's story is part two from yesterday's post and this is the update to my girlfriend invited her ex over to my apartment and I'm absolutely livid right now. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go and check that out and then come back to this video for the update. It's currently around 7pm when writing this and honestly, the last 13-ish hours I've been up have been draining to say the least. I awoke in the morning to my phone going absolutely nuts with notifications from Reddit. I'm honestly like, oh dear damn why the actual hell did i decide to pour my personal thoughts out into a reddit post i began to scroll through all of your comments and to say i was shocked is an absolute understatement literally almost all of you are actively taking my side and i mean i was just scrolling this morning just looking for that one comment that was taking hers it did not come what surprised me the most were the amount of women in this thread that said they would never do this to their man and that it is beyond disrespectful. I mean, those comments hit the hardest this morning as those were my faults exactly. Last night was a stress storm for me, to be honest. I couldn't believe what the hell had just happened. As you all can guess from my post, I live alone. So there wasn't anyone at my crib that I could talk to so I decided to call one man that has had my back since day one my pops as many have messaged me and many have commented I will go into detail on what exactly our phone call entailed first I'm gonna go back to when it originally happened so that it makes more sense also when reading back my thoughts from last night it was clear I was rushing at the end and honestly just fed up with everything at that point so I skipped a lot of details okay to start Lily had just stormed out of my apartment at this point when I called her out that she wouldn't be okay with me meeting with my ex because they needed someone to lean on. Like I said before, I didn't call out, text or follow her. At this point, I am so furious and I can't believe what the hell just happened. I take a seat on the couch and try breathing exercises. I am trying to calm down, but it's no use because I keep remembering Kyle asking, do you want me to leave to my girlfriend? I didn't really elaborate on this beforehand, but that stuff sent me to another world and I was absolutely about to lose my mind to the max. I just kept telling myself it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. At this point, all I want to do is beat Kyle's ass and all my methods for calming down were failing at this point. I just said, F it and picked up my phone and said, Siri, call old man. I honestly didn't know what I was going to say at this point, but I knew if there was one person who could get through to me, it would be my pops. Now, I don't remember the exact dialogue that exactly went down, but I'm going to try my best to be as accurate as possible. Phone dialing. Dad picks up and says, I seen it already, Vooch dropped 43 on their ass. I started laughing a bit and say, it's not about that dad. I just got into a huge fight with Lily dad. I'm really angry dad. I don't want to do anything stupid. Whoa, whoa, okay, where are you right now? Are you with her? Are you guys okay? Dad, I'm at the crib right now and she just stormed out. Yes, I am chilling. I just don't know what to do. There's a long pause after this and I hear my pops take a deep breath and say, 
all right, all right, hit me. I began to give him the same rundown I gave you guys in my last post. The whole time, my pops is dead silent. Doesn't say a word. I finished up the story. All he asked was, what does Kyle look like? I won't lie, this caught me off guard because I was like, damn dad, why the hell does it matter what he looks like? I responded, uh, I don't know. He was white with long curly hair, etc. Why? My dad was like, no, no. How tall was he? At this point, I'm like, WTF dad? Uh, I don't know. His ass was like 5'9", max. My dad laughs a bit and says, explains the Timberlands then male equivalent of heels. I didn't realize it yesterday, but what my pops was doing was what he always does. I literally can't stay angry if I laugh and my dad can make me laugh on demand. I started laughing. I was like, you're right, you're right. He was like, how much do you think he weighed? I had to think for a minute, but I was like, hmm, maybe a buck 55-ish. My pops then brought up the argument between Kyle and I. You said Lily told Kyle to leave after you started to get mad, right? Yeah, I responded. My dad pauses for a long time again and takes another deep breath. I wouldn't be surprised if this situation is a lot deeper than it seems. It speaks volumes. To me, she only rallied for him to leave after you began to get real upset. You are six foot, 190 pounds and were just disrespected in your own house by a man you do not know. When a woman cares for someone, the last thing she wants is for him to be in harm's way. She understood exactly what was going to happen if the situation continued to escalate and she chose to get Kyle out of harm's way, followed by switching all the blame to you and leaving. Honestly, son, where do you think she's at right now? I didn't say anything. I knew what he was implying. I know it hurts, but promise me you won't do anything irrational. She made her decision. There's not much you can do to change it. You've proven your whole life you're one of one. Don't lose yourself now over something that will just end up a tiny bump on your road map. I mean, seriously, I couldn't be more proud of you, son. You're 22, living on your own in your city. You got your stuff together. That's rare. You're rare. The right woman like your mum, for me, I laughed a little, will walk into your life when you least expect it. Don't waste your energy. Everything happens for a reason, son. I paused for a minute and said, thank you. I needed this, dad. My dad laughed. Of course, your mum and I are here for you always. Ends call. Fast forward back to this morning. I couldn't sleep last night, so this morning was just completely ass. Lily was blowing up my phone the whole night, apologizing and begging for my forgiveness. It's around 11 a.m. at this point. I'm completely just over this situation. I still haven't responded to her since she stormed off last night. In my opinion, she made her choice. However, I got a long ass week ahead of me and can't be having this stuff continue to impact me this much going forward. I eat something and head down to my apartment's local gym to just run. On lifting days, I go to a private gym and on cardio days, I use the apartment's gym. Running is therapeutic for me. Around one o'clock, I get a phone call and you guessed it, it was from Lily. No part of me wanted to pick up the phone, but we've been dating for two and a half years. I felt obligated. Picks up phone. What's up? 
I say, to be immediately met with crying. I'm sorry. I love you to death. Please just talk to me. I shouldn't have left last night. I panicked. You know I love you. I didn't say anything. Please talk to me. This isn't right. Please just talk to your girlfriend. I'm sorry. I told you nothing happened. I won't ever talk to him again. Please, I beg, can we just talk? At this point, the realization of my feelings for her started to really kick in. Instead of anger, sorrow, or anything emotional, to be honest, I just felt a sense of indifference when she spoke. I responded, can you come over around three? Still crying at this point, yes, 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 she says, okay, I say, and end call. I'm just sitting on the sofa now at this point, just waiting for free to roll around. Scrolling through the comments on my previous post, knock, knock. I hear from the hallway. Shortly after, I see my girlfriend emerge from the mini hallway. She begins to start smiling and crying while wiping her tears. Again, I take notice of how I feel at this moment. A sense of indifference. A feeling I don't care about anymore. It really started to hit me. Two and a half years wasted. Just like that. The woman who I cared so deeply for just 24 hours before now is in front of me crying and I don't feel a thing. Lily, it's over between us. I said, completely shocked. She barely manages to mutter out, what? While still crying. It's over, I repeated. My name, my name, my name, my name, my name. No, 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 please. I'm sorry. Don't end this between us. I love you to death. She said hysterically. Now, I won't lie, that last bit hit hard. I mean, really hard, man. I couldn't mask it anymore. The lid had been broken. Don't end this between us, I say. Lily, I'm sorry, I can't take this anymore. I don't know what impression I gave you over our relationship, but I won't stay in a relationship with a woman who thinks that little of me. You made the decision to end it between us when inviting your ex into my apartment behind my back, Lily. That is something I refuse to let slide, Lily. At this point, my thoughts just begin to flow out of my mouth like a tidal wave. No man is that cocky for no reason, Lily. I'm not a fool. You gave him some type of reassurance to give him the confidence to act like that. You even backed him in front of me. Why the hell would I stay with someone who's not going to have my back? Absolutely balling at this point. Lily says, I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. You all can call me whatever you want. But at this point, I just went soft. I didn't have the heart to keep drilling her anymore. She was just breaking down crying uncontrollably. I just sat down in silence. I'm sorry it won't happen again. I love you. Only you. I won't ever talk to him again. I won't. I promise. Please just give me one more chance, said Lily. I'm completely silent. I mean, there was just a huge pressure on my chest. It felt like my rib cage was going to crack under the pressure. Sat there silently listening to her crying. I remembered one of my favorite songs. I'd rather have loyalty than love because love really don't mean jack. See, love is just a feeling. You can love somebody and still stab them in the back. It don't take much to love. 
You can love somebody just by being attached. See, loyalty is an action. You can love or hate me and still have my back. 21 Savage. I just kept repeating those lyrics in my head over and over and over again. Too many. It might seem she said all the right things, but to me, actions speak louder than words. Last night, she chose to make her decision on us through her actions. And since actions speak louder than words, it really didn't matter what she said. I'm struggling to keep it together at this point. I really did love her. I still do. But I understood this was what's best for me. I wouldn't have been able to trust her again. You can't be in a relationship without trust or loyalty. I lost both from her. As she cries, I look up and say, Lily, please, it's over. There's no saving this. She looks at me and says, my name. No, please just stop. It's over, Lily. I interrupt. Please just do us both a favor and take your things and leave, Lily. It's over. Please, let's just end it here. She doesn't say anything and gets up and starts grabbing some of her things from around the apartment. I grabbed a garbage bag and helped her pack. She left the keys to my apartment on the table and left. This all finished up around 4.30 today. I've just been sitting here trying to process what the hell just happened. Honestly, it all still doesn't feel real. I never intended on posting on Reddit yesterday, but I just needed a place to vent. And since it blew up, I felt like I should update all of you. It's 7.35 as I finished writing this and I'm hurt. The weight of what just went down over the last 24 hours doesn't feel real. To anyone who actually read this long ass update, thank you. To those who commented on my previous post, thank you. I needed a place to vent last night. So there's nothing more I like than to see an update to a post. And this guy's update was really interesting because he went into a lot of detail and I really feel like I was part of this. You can't help but feel maybe a little bit of pity for Lily, but he's young and he's got plenty of time to move on. Two and a half years, yeah, it's a fairly long time, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not. And trust and loyalty, as he said, is such a big thing in a relationship. When there is no trust, it just eats away at you. It makes you a miserable person. And who's got time for that? So I think he done the right thing. He's got to look out for number one and he's young enough. I'm sure he'll find someone else that will come along soon enough if he's looking for a relationship. And this will be, as his dad said, just a little notch on the belt, something that he probably won't think much of in the future. But let me know what you think about this update and let me know in the comments below whether you agree that OP done the right thing or not. And don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you very soon.